I recently got a message from one of the companies I work for asking if I would like to do a photo shoot for one of their clients, which was about two and a half hours away. Whenever this happened back home, back home being the best country in the world, the best country in the world being wherever you're watching from, I would almost always immediately respond to the no. When the travel time in one direction was longer than the shoot itself, I just didn't think it was worth it. However, this time I decided to pause for a moment and think about it. What was the reason I usually said no to these shoots? Besides the obvious one, which was that I would spend more time traveling than actually doing the work. But there was also something else. And it was something specific about the time spent traveling, during which I did nothing. I usually don't mind being on my own when it's my choice. But once that choice gets taken away, I start to feel annoyed that I have to spend all this time by myself doing nothing, but just sitting there, waiting and waiting. Ultimately, I accepted the offer. I decided to bring some reading material with me on the train, mainly to practice my Germanian. I got there two hours before the start time. That's the downside of public transportation. It was either two hours early or one hour late. I decided to take a short walk around and film a bit just for fun. That's the footage you're seeing right now, which was initially meant for a short travel video. But then I thought the sound of my voice would be better. Fortunately, the client was there early too, and long story short, I was out of there before the scheduled start time. As I was packing up, I decided to check the train schedule on my phone, which said that the next train was in 13 minutes. It's a 15 minute walk to the train station. However, the client told me that the next train isn't for a while, as they only run every two hours, to which I responded, I think they run every two hours only in this direction. Still in me for choosing to believe the app, but I think I just didn't want to believe that the train wasn't coming soon. I grabbed my stuff and made a dash for it. I got there two minutes early, only to discover that the next train wouldn't arrive for another 36 minutes. I was drenched in sweat and out of breath, but I decided to focus on the bright side. I had already gotten a good cardio workout in, or at least a warm up, on the run to the train station, so I decided to use my surroundings and get a workout in. Believe it or not, that bag weighs 100 pounds, that's 45 kilograms, but I use pounds because it sounds like it's more. Maybe I should use grams. So what's the lesson here? Well, does there have to be a lesson? Well, no, but basically make the most of your situation because you never know when misfortune will strike. Someone should print that on a t-shirt. T-shirt idea. Make the most of your situation. If you'd like, subscribe. There'll be a new video whenever misfortune strikes. Or doesn't.